Hi, this is Michelle Berger from buffmother.com. I am going to go over a workout for you. It's actually the workout that is listed in my book, Hormonal Timing. So it's for the boosting phase. Basically during boosting, we want to go to more of a traditional lifting style where we do one set of the exercise, rest for a little bit, do the other, another set, and then finish with a third set, then move on to another exercise. So what I'm gonna show you today is actually just the exercises, and then you can follow, you know, rewind or whatever to do uh, two more sets of each. So the first exercise uh, is going to be chest press on the ball. So I, as you can see, I'm sitting on the ball. What you need to do is have a set of dumbbells. Now for beginners, I recommend you know, getting a set of eight to 10 pound dumbbells. Start there, just learn the moves, get comfortable with that, get some initial strength built, and then maybe go and invest in a little bit heavier set of dumbbells uh, and utilize those. So here we'll grab the dumbbells, chest press on the ball, you need an exercise ball, you need to get on the ball so that you're kind of at, a, at an angle, uh, but so you're not gonna lay completely flat. You just kind of sit up just a little bit. And then what you wanna do is take your dumbbells and hold them up over your, your head basically or towards your chin area and bring them down to your chest, to the side of your chest, and then press back up. Inhale and exhale, three, four, five, nice slow and controlled, six, don't, don't rush through it, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if you have a bench, go ahead and use your bench. I have a bench, but this is a workout that you can do with just a ball, a set of dumbbells, and a chair. So if you don't have a, a bench, use a, a ball. If you don't have a ball, you could use an ottoman or a bench or uh, even the floor, but you're not gonna be able to bring your arms back as far as possible. So the next exercise after uh, chest press, what you're gonna do, that was one set. I need you to rest one minute in between. Great thing to do is to like just do some stretching in between, do another set, rest another minute, and then do the third set. Then move on to this next exercise which will be push-ups. And uh, most of you will want to start with push-ups on your knees. Now, if this is too hard, you can do them on the wall. So just get to where you have some room and you have your knees on the floor, feet on the floor, lower your body down and back up. Now you want your body to be a nice straight line. So two, make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, exhale with exertion, okay? I think that's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so that's push-ups on your knees. So you'll do uh, three sets of those also. So take a little break in between, do some stretching, stretch your triceps. That exercise works your chest, your triceps, your back some, your core some, because you need to keep your core nice and tight. All right, now the next exercise is dumbbell lat rows. That's when you need your chair. Um, you take just one dumbbell, and then I want you to kneel on it, and hold your one side up, and then we're gonna work with this one arm here. So if you wanna like, like pretend like you're starting a lawnmower, you're pulling that cord and pull it all the way back, and this is for your, your lat, which is the muscle on the side of your back. So inhale as you lower, exhale as you pull it up. Inhale, exhale. And see how I'm kind of going at an angle, I'm not going straight down, kind of like, like you're pulling that cord on uh, starting that lawnmower that's right over there, okay? Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. Now this, your muscles of your back are gonna get really strong really fast. So you're gonna wanna probably get a heavier weight before too long. But right away, this is great. Just focus on really squeezing and taking your time and just do 10 reps of those and then switch to the other side and do 10 reps on this side, okay? So that then take a break in between and 
do uh, two more sets of that dumbbell lat roll, okay? Now, the next exercise is seated shoulder press. So you're gonna use the chair once again. And what you wanna do is sit up nice and tall and put your uh, dumbbells right up by your ears. And then you wanna press up over your head and then come back down to your ears. Okay, it's important not to come down too far because that will strain your shoulders. And it's really fun if you use a mirror on this one so you can kind of see that one arm's not going out here crazy. And the, you know, so you want them nice and equal. Hopefully mine looks okay. <laughs> and uh, you just do 10 reps of these. Now these might be hard with the 10 pound dumbbells right away because shoulder muscles are really kind of tiny. So if this is too hard, don't feel bad about getting out those little, you know, uh, three or five or eight pound dumbbells, okay? I have some pretty little pink ones over there in the corner. All right, so that seated chest, shoulder press, I mean, and that is working your shoulder muscles. It's also working, you know, your back a little bit, your stabilizers, but mainly your shoulders. So that exercise, you need to do three sets of that also. So do 10 reps, take a break, do 10 more, and then one more time for the third set. Then you get to move on to the next exercise, which we're also gonna do sitting down on the chair. Let me just over here so you can see me a little bit better. Okay, you wanna sit kinda on the edge of the chair, and you don't want a chair that's super wide, so try to be selective on your chairs, but what you wanna do is uh, bicep curls in the chair. So all we're gonna do is just bring those um, dumbbells up to our shoulders and lower down and then again, now this one also, exhale here, inhale as you lower. Biceps are really cool because they respond to eccentric motion. So you want to make sure you're lowering slowly because that's really working them hard, okay? So it's not a race, weight training is never a race. We want to think about the muscles we're contracting, make sure we're breathing and squeezing those biceps as we bring them up and letting them, resisting the lowering, which is the eccentric motion. Don't just let your arms fall back down. And very good job. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, posture something you wanna work all the time. Pull that tummy in, sit nice and tall. It'll help, it adds up. Every little bit adds up, okay? The next exercise is a tricep dips on the chair. Most all of us at one point or another have done these. So what you wanna do is you want your hands right behind you, uh, like right at shoulder width uh, part. So you don't want them way up here, you want them right here. And we're gonna work the back of those arms. And you have your knees bent, just go down as low as it feels comfortable. Now the closer you bring your knees in, or your feet in, the more you can help help yourself okay you can help with your legs if you need to but as you get stronger you want to just let it be all your tricep so really make sure that as you extend up you get your arm nice and straight and then come down to a nice 90 degree angle and then back up all right so those are tricep extensions on the chair you want to do 10 reps of those three sets total so take a little break you know shake it out maybe do some more stretching you know, you can even stretch your legs in between. Don't feel like it just has to be upper body. And then we're gonna go to the final exercise, which once again is going to be on the chair. They are knee ups, and this is for your abs. So what you wanna do is just lean back slightly, put your legs out in front of you, and pull your knees up to your chest. Make sure you're breathing, so Inhale up when you bring your legs up. Inhale when you lower down. Now nice and slow. You wanna resist lowering your legs, okay? Resist the eccentric. Call it eccentric abs, e-abs. So really resist that lowering, okay? Good job. Now that you really feel that, make sure you're exhaling and inhaling. And sometimes this is more comfortable to do on an ottoman than a chair because it's cushy. You can do that same move on the floor even or on the edge of a couch. Uh, knee ups, you can pretty much do them anywhere. So you want to do a total of 15 of those if possible, between 10 and 15. I would suggest 15. 
uh, three sets of those, and that's the end of your boosting upper body workout. So if you do this workout twice a week, along with doing the lower body boosting workout twice a week, you're going to see some amazing results. Make sure you're challenging yourself so you can see the changes, and make sure to touch base with me and let me know how it goes. I'm always there for answering questions, and I hang out in our private rally room, which is located at teambuffmother.com. It's T-E-A-M, buffmother.com. Take care.